In this video, I'll talk about whether sequences converge or diverge. And first of all, let's explain what a sequence is. A sequence is a list of numbers. They're not being added. So we've got a sub 1 and a sub 2 and a sub 3, the way most textbooks name those. And they go on forever. This sequence goes on forever. And then the a sub n, the any nth term, would be uh, given by some formula. So we're going to find the formula here. The formula for the nth term, and again, that's not the last term, that's just any for any n, like you would plug in uh, n equals 1 in this first term, and then n equals 2. So you plug that into the formula. So let's see here a sub n, uh, we see something happening with the denominators. And if the first term is a sub 1, and then a sub 2, and then a sub 3, that goes here, then we see something happening. This 2, this 2 matches this 2. We don't see a 3 here, but let's keep going and see a sub 4 that goes with this term, 4, and then a sub 5, the fifth term. So it looks like, it looks like perhaps the denominators are growing along with n. So I'm going to put n right in the denominator. So whatever n is, whatever the nth term is, that's going to be our denominator. And let me further rewrite this too. So I've got 0, 3 halves. If I want to make that denominator 3, I'll have to make this 6 over 3, and then 9 over 4, and then 12 over 5, and so on. Now, what, what's happening up in the numerator? Well, it's not quite as obvious to see here, but with a little inspection, you might see, hey, look, everything is a multiple of 3 here. 3, 6, 9, and even 0 is a multiple of 3. It's 3 times 0. So, well, let's say we have three times in the numerator. Three times what? Well, three times in the first one, uh, to get zero up here, we'd have to be one minus one. If, if uh, n is, uh, is one, so we'd say n minus one. And let's see how that works out. If I do n equals two for this one, n equals two, then I've got three times 2 minus 1 over 2, and that equals 3 times 1 is 3 over 2. Yeah, that checks out. So, and, and you could go on with the rest of these. So we've got this formula for the sequence. Now, does it converge or diverge? Converge or diverge is the question. Well, here's there's a lot of um, language that you'll see in books on whether sequences converge or diverge, and I like to boil it down to this. If you have the limit uh, as n approaches infinity, and it's the limit of that a sub n formula, and that's what we found right here. This is our a sub n formula. The, the formula that gives you the nth term, whatever term that that is, the second or the fifth or the thousandth. And as you go on to infinity, so that is, <coughs> uh, you go on forever. The, 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 the terms don't end, but you just keep on going. Well, if, if you can do that and you get some limit L, some L. Now, if, if L is a number, let's just say that. That's, that's really what this boils down to. There's a lot of uh, nice, elegant math ways to say this. But I'm just going to boil it down to say, if L is a number that is not infinity, because infinity is not a number, it's a concept, then we can say uh, this converges. Then the sequence converges. All right, we've got that if-then statement. And as long as I'm here, let's continue with that. If, on the other hand, if L 
is infinite. If that limit, this this limit, goes to infinity, or or the limit does not exist. Well, in that case, we say that then the sequence diverges. Not sequences, just the sequence diverges. And I took the path less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. But in math, but in math, we don't want it to di diverge. So, uh, so that this is what happens if, if you don't get something palatable. The limit does not exist or infinite. We say the sequence diverges. Okay, so that's our that's our quest here. Is what if we take the limit, the limit, as n goes to infinity, of three times n minus one over n? What does that limit equal? Well, it turns out that that limit equals, look at this, we've got infinity over infinity, this, so those just kind of cancel each other out. Infinity minus 1 is, is nothing. Uh, that minus 1 doesn't mean anything. So this is, it just becomes 3 times 1, or just 3. So, because this limit exists, it is a number that's not infinity, then we can say this converges. This sequence converges. Okay, the second sequence. I'll run through this one a little bit more, a little bit more quickly. A sub n equals, well, everything is being multiplied, it's, uh, everything, the previous term is always being multiplied by 2. So we've got 2 to the n somewhere in there, and we start out with 7. So 7 times 2 to the n. That's, this is our A sub n formula. Okay, so knowing that, you can put that in parentheses if you'd like. Knowing that, then we take the limit as n approaches infinity of 7 times 2 to the n. Well, this limit is infinite, right? As n grows, uh, this just keeps on growing and, and growing. It doesn't, it doesn't stop at some number. It just goes on forever. It, it just keeps growing, you could say. So, therefore, we would say that this diverges. This sequence diverges.